Hey guys, uh, we're just showing you a quick uh, video today to show you how to update your computer. Uh, oftentimes with a lot of diagnostics or people messaging in for help, um, the first thing we tell them to do with a lot of problems is to make sure their updates are all run. Uh, so just a quick video to let you know how to do that. If uh, some people out there don't know how to do that, then this way we have a video we can send them. It's fairly simple, get to your desktop, come down here to the search bar, uh, okay, we'll zoom in a little bit. All right, just come down here to the search bar. Uh, type in updates. Uh, so this is what we're looking for. This popped up. Check for updates under system settings. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Uh, that'll come up um, quickly or not quickly depending on the speed of your computer. Uh, but that's what we're looking for. So click on that or hit enter. The system settings box will come up with the updates already selected. Okay, Windows update. So right here, uh, updates available, so that's good. Uh, this is a new uh, install of Windows 10, so there's going to be a lot of updates. We just installed it. Um, but if you don't see this, or if it says there are no updates available, don't necessarily believe that. It, it, it's not live. Uh, so if it says no updates are available, there'll be a button here to manually check. Uh, so hit that and very often you will see updates um, even if it says there are no updates available. So in our case, it, it, it found them, which again is no surprise. It's a fresh install of Windows. And as you can see, some are listed as pending install, pending install. This one is downloading. Uh, it's 100% downloaded, so that'll switch over to installing in a couple seconds. Um, let me see. Touch screen is weird with the... Scroll. So let me just scroll down here. As you can see, there is a lot of them. Um, you may not have this many unless you just did a fresh install. Um, just so you're aware. Um, if for any reason you do see some and they say pending install and they're not installing, it could be that they haven't kicked in yet. Uh, or it could be you have to scroll down like this. Scroll down to the bottom. I, ha I have a lot. Uh, down here. When it's over, you could see something that says pending restart or restart now, or there could be a button that says download. Um, but sometimes there will be a button down here prompting you to do something to make sure this process keeps moving forward. Uh, right now, they're installing by themselves, so it doesn't have me do anything. But at some point, it may stall out, it may get stuck, or it may require a computer restart, and it'll prompt you for that down here. Or sometimes under status, it will actually say pending restart instead of pending install. Uh, so keep an eye on those things. Like it, It's okay to get this process started and then walk away, do some other things, and, and check back every now and then. Uh, depending on the number of updates you have, this could take a very long time. Again, with me, in this situation with a fresh install of Windows, this could take hours. Uh, sometimes I've left computers on all night uh, to get these updates in. Uh, but come back every now and then, see if it's asking you to restart, see if it's asking you to download more. Uh, hit, 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 hit the button that says download more. Um, but as long as you check back every now and then, you should be good. These items down here are some quick links that you can use, pause updates for seven days. Um, if, if, if you're gonna be heavy using this and, and you don't want the updates to kick in automatically whenever they feel like sucking all your processing power, you could do that. Change active hours when you allow the updates to be run automatically. View update history. Uh, you can see the previously installed updates and then advanced options down here. Uh, that's where you can set your auto updates to on or off um, if you want those to update automatically. So just scrolling up top again. They're all pending install. One's got to be installing somewhere. There we go. Yeah, so this one is still downloading. It says 100%. So again, this could take a very long time. Don't, don't freak out if it does. It, it, if you're convinced that it's stuck, um, a restart can't hurt. Um, every now and then you'll come down here to the restart and you'll hit restart and uh, you'll hit power and it'll say update and shut down or update and restart. Uh, you may see that sometimes too. Um, so yeah, so this is basically everything that uh, you would need to do to install all your updates. Uh, this could happen over and over again. If it gets stuck and you restart or if it tells you to restart and you restart, um, bring your computer back up to the desktop, put in your search bar again, uh, updates, um, 
come back into this box and do the whole process all over again, and then just keep rinse recycling and repeating that until all these updates are, are done. And again, it could take hours. Um, but at some point, you should see no updates are available. You hit the button up here that says search for updates. It searches and it tells you you're all set. So that, that's what we're going for if, if you're told to make sure all your updates are processed in a first attempt to troubleshoot a problem. Uh, so if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you have any questions, if you got stuck in some place I haven't already described, um, or if you've run all your updates and it hasn't had the desired effect, it, it, it hasn't fixed whatever problem you're hoping it did, uh, check out our frequently asked questions in the description. Uh, that could help you with that, um, save you some time. If you don't see your question there, post it as a comment. And uh, we try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Um, if we're in the office, we try to get back to you as, as often as possible. So uh, like and share if it was helpful. Uh, feel free to subscribe. If you enjoyed, do it yourself repair. And uh, thank you so much for watching.